Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Perucci and in this video I decided to put together all the tips that I have about things to do in the Hudson Valley in the New York State. So if you are looking for activities in this area, stay tuned, check my recommendations. I think the Hudson Valley offers a lot of things to do. This is an amazing area, especially in the fall. So check it out and I hope you guys like it. If you're a hiking fan, the Hudson Valley offers a lot of options. Beacon Mountain is one of them. This is a 2.4 mile round trip hike and be prepared because it's not easy. It wasn't for me. But the views are beautiful. There is a parking lot and bathrooms as well. And also a deli nearby if you need food and water. This is a famous resort in New Paltz with incredible scenery and an architecture that makes you feel like you are in Europe. A lot of people don't know, but you don't need to stay there in order to visit. You can buy a hiking pass or a spa package or even have a meal at the restaurant. It opens all year. Oh, and the hiking is super easy, don't worry. This restaurant is located in a Dutch house from 1798, bought by a couple from Toronto, and the inspiration for the menu came from the couple's favorite restaurants in New York and Toronto. And the food has a farm-to-table concept, so you can expect delicious and fresh options. And besides that, the environment of the restaurant is just perfect. New Paltz is an area with a lot of colleges and universities, and the Culinary Institute of America is an institution of higher education focused on gastronomy, and you can go there to eat, because they have a French, an American, and an Italian restaurant, and the campus is beautiful, as are the restaurants. Okay, California, brace yourselves because we have a lot of wineries in the New York State. Millbrook Vineyards and Winery is one of the most famous in the Hudson Valley. They have a huge outdoor space with picnic tables and the winery also features a shop, tables for tasting and space for events. They also have a cheese menu and is open all year. Another recommendation is Ben Mar Winery. This is a beautiful winery and it, it is close to the Hudson River with gorgeous views. You can try the wine tastings, buying some wine bottles and on the weekends they offer pizzas. You also find a bakery with some pastries options. Check the website for the hours. Franklin Roosevelt National Historic Site is a national park that houses the residence, the library, and the tomb of Franklin Roosevelt, who was a president of the United States. The park is huge and beautiful too, and the access and parking are free. 
If you want to visit the library, museum and the house, you need to buy a ticket which costs $20 with a guided tour. Walkway over the Hudson is a suspension bridge for pedestrians and cyclists. Located in Poughkeepsie, it was built in the 19th century to connect New York to New England. With a fire in the 70s, it ended abandoned, but because of the community efforts, it was reopened to the public in 2009. It is the longest pedestrian suspension bridge in the world, about 1.2 miles long. The most beautiful thing about this place is the view from the bridge and the access is free. Rail Explorers is a rail bike tour through railroads as you travel alongside the beautiful woods of the Catskill Mountains. You pedal these vehicles along the railroad tracks while you enjoy beautiful views. The tours run from May to November and make your reservation in advance because they sell out quickly and they offer two sides for the vehicles for two or four people. Overlook Mountain offers one of the famous hiking trails in the area, 2.5 miles climbing and climbing. Before getting to the top, you will pass the Overlook Mountain House Ruins, which is used to be a hotel for 300 guests. It was built in the 1833 and it was destroyed by fire in 1875. Then it was rebuilt and burned again in 1923. Also. Once you get to the top, you can climb the fire tower and don't forget to follow the scenic view sign for scenic views. Trust me, it's worth it. If you live in New York City and you are planning to explore the Hudson Valley and you have maybe just one day, the Metro North is probably the easy solution for you. But if you are planning to spend more days in the area, rent a car. And if you want an easy way to rent a car, I highly recommend trying Get Around. It's an app and it's very easy to use. No membership fees, no paperwork, no hassles. And I have a special link for you to sign up with that offers $20 free credit. Check on the description below. I hope you guys like this video and please check below on the video description because I'm gonna link all my articles about things to do in the Hudson Valley. I have a lot of tips of other towns as well and all these tips are on the blog post as well so if you want to like check it out I have maps I have other recommendations don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and also if you have amazing tips on things to do in the Hudson Valley please comment below as well and I see you guys in the next video bye